Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I, um, I'm working on something a little different today. My Floetrol order doesn't come in for at least another week. And um, the, the shipment's delayed because of the, all of the, the holiday stuff. So um, I've been look, looking around my studio for another project to work on that didn't require pouring medium. <laughs> and um, I found this canvas. I love this painting. I think it's beautiful. Uh, it was an experiment I did with just two colors, white and turqu uh, thalo turquoise from Golden. Um, and it was a kind of a chaos uh, ribbon pour and the tilted out. And it's beautiful. Uh, but um, I thought that it just kind of wasn't finished. So um, I had an idea. I saved it because I had an idea. I have some wooden shapes that one of the uh, local uh, carpenters makes for me. Uh, and I uh, drew out this turtle and she cut these uh, these pieces for me. And I, in the past, I've put this on a can, I've put some uh, paints on one side, flipped it over here, did a Dutch pour over top of it and then removed the turtle and it's really cool. I'll link that video in the, the video description. Um, this time I'm gonna do something similar to this but instead of doing a Dutch pour on top, I really like all of this. So I'm going to put on some gel gloss from Amster, or gel medium from Amsterdam. I'm gonna mix this gel gloss with some uh, different colored paints and then layer it on, on here, flip it over just like I would uh, the other one. And um, when I remove it, hopefully it leaves a texture on top. So. That's the plan for today. So um, one of the things I think I will do though, is this white is a little too stark for me. It, it looks more like, um, you know, a, a Northern sea kind of thing, like uh, with the ice flows and, that, and all that. So I have some leftover, uh, this little piggy pigment. Uh, this one is mermaid. So I, the first thing I'm going to do is a little wash. I'm just gonna, dip my brush in this and then uh, give it a good brush all the way across and maybe tone down this white a little bit. Uh, and then the colors that I'm gonna mix with my gel gloss, I have Amsterdam Light Gold and I have DecoArt Royal Ruby, so a copper and a gold uh, to put on the turtle. And I, and I also wanna put in some, this little piggy pigments, this is sea glass and this is mermaid, just like the wash that I'm about to do. So um, when I layer onto my turtle, I'm gonna um, kind of mix those colors together. So hopefully when I pull it off, it looks like the, the turtle shell. So that is the idea. And I'm, I've never done this before, so I, it's a total experiment. And if it, uh, if it doesn't work out, if this attempt doesn't work out, you may never see this video. <laughs> But uh, even if it doesn't, maybe I'll post it because it might be, uh, learn something from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and put on some music for you. And um, let's just play. That's what we 
So here's the final result. It's gonna take a couple days for this to dry, so I'm not gonna have the dry results in time for this video when I post, but I'll try to remember to include it in a future video. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. That piggy wash worked perfectly to tone down that white. It now looks like an undersea scene rather than, um, you know, ice flows. <laughs> Um, and the only thing I think I'd do differently with the uh, gel medium when I was layering the different colors, I wish I had brought that copper into the center a little bit more. Because um, right now it's just kind of acting as a border. I wish it was integrated into the design a little more. But the, look at that texture. How freaking cool is that? That's going to be amazing. I hope it really holds its shape as it dries. And the, everything there is metallic, so it's really going to sparkle. It's beautiful. Look at that fin. That's so cool. I love it. Um, I was able to use my, uh, the end of a paintbrush to fill in some areas that were a little thin, especially on the fins there. Um, and I did have to do a second dip. I wasn't worried about that because I did want the blending. Uh, but I needed to go, I needed to press harder underneath, from underneath the canvas and on top of the turtle uh, in order to get, um, you know, full coverage. But yeah, look at that. Look how cute he is. Oh, I'm going to have to go in with a, a brush. I've got a little bit of splatter. I think it was either on my finger or on the side of the, the wooden turtle. So I'll go in and fix that here soon. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I hope you like this too. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and, you know, go mix up some paints and be fearless.